Now that we've practiced our embouchure, and we've learned what to do with the muscles of our face here, we're going to make a sound on the reed. We're going to aim for what is called a crow. This is a sound that has what is called multiphonics, many sounds contained within it. And then we're going to practice refining that into one sound, which is a skill that we need when we're playing the instrument. So quickly mentally review your embouchure shape with your reed, three quarters. I'm going to go through my steps and then show you what a crow is like. It's a pretty funny sound, right? Go ahead and try that yourself. If you find that you're having trouble making a crowing sound, there's a possibility that you're just not being strong enough or loose enough with your lips. So let's take a moment and kind of play around with it. As long as you do everything with the embouchure that you're supposed to do and you protect the tip of your reed, we can do some playing here. So I'm going to demonstrate how I want you to do this. I'm going to change the strength of my lips, going stronger and weaker. I'm going to just keep blowing the same air the whole time. I want you to try that. Go up and down. You'll find that as you tighten your lips up here, by making that circle of muscle tighter, the pitch will go higher. And as you relax it a little bit, we keep it strong still, it just doesn't squeeze it as much. The sound comes back down and into that crow sound. Watch out for letting your corners come away, letting your teeth come together. We want to avoid those things. We want to keep that space that we established during our oral cavity video. And make sure that openness is your goal here while learning how to manipulate your muscles.